Introducing Honeywell Vista 20P Ademco Vista. System Basics The following is a list of some of the most common features and functions of your system. Several modes of burglary detection stay, night stay, away, instant, and maximum. The bypass feature lets you bypass selected zones while leaving the rest of the system armed. Chime mode alerts you to the opening of protected doors and windows while the system is disarmed. Fire and carbon monoxide detection are always active, if installed, and an alarm sounds if a fire or carbon monoxide condition is detected. Panic keys, if programmed, let you manually initiate a fire and personal alarms using the keypad. Four-digit security codes are used in conjunction with keypad commands to perform system functions. Each user can be assigned a different security code, each with different authority levels. The system sensing devices have been assigned to various zones, which are specific areas of detection. Zone numbers, points of detection, are displayed on the keypad when an alarm or trouble condition occurs. Partitions, Vista 20P series, provide two independent areas of detection plus an optional common zone area, with each partition containing a group of zones that can be armed and disarmed without affecting other zones or users. Function keys may have been programmed to perform various functions. Ask your installer if these keys are active. A scheduling feature can be programmed to automatically perform certain functions, e.g., arm the system, at a predetermined time each day. Entry slash exit delays. Entry delays give you time to disarm the system when you enter through the designated entrance door. You must disarm the system before the entry delay period ends, or an alarm will occur, keypad beeps during the entry delay period, reminding you to disarm the system. Exit delay gives you time after arming the system to leave through the designated exit doors without setting off an alarm. If programmed, a slow beeping will sound during the exit delay period until the last 10 seconds, which then changes to a fast beeping. Exit delay gives you time after arming the system to leave through the designated exit doors without setting off an alarm. If programmed, a slow beeping will sound during the exit delay period until the last 10 seconds, which then changes to a fast beeping. See your installer for your delay times. See the full user guide for details on exit error alarms. Notes on burglary detection. The system must be armed before the burglary detection can sense intrusions. To arm your system, enter your security code followed by the desired arming key. To disarm the system, enter your security code then press the off key. When an alarm occurs, the keypad sounds and displays the zones causing the alarm. If your system is connected to a central monitoring station, an alarm message is also sent. To stop the alarm from sounding, simply disarm the system. Memory of alarm. When an alarm condition occurs, the keypad displays the numbers of the zones that cause the problem and displays the type of alarm. Clear the memory of alarm display by entering another off sequence. Notes on fire and CO detection. Your fire alarm system, if installed, is on 24 hours a day for continuous detection. In the event of an emergency, the smoke and heat detectors sound their alarms, triggering a loud, interrupted pulse sound from the keypads and any external sounders. You can silence the alarm at any time by pressing the off key. The security code is not needed to silence fire alarms. Carbon monoxide CO, detectors, if installed, provide continuous detection. If a high level of carbon monoxide is detected, an interrupted pulsed alarm sound occurs at the keypads and the detectors. Immediately move to a spot where fresh air is available, preferably outdoors. From a safe area, Call your security service provider for further instructions. Testing the system, using the test mode allows each detection point to be checked for proper operation. Testing should be conducted weekly to ensure proper operation. The keypad sounds a single beep about every 30 seconds as a reminder that the system is in test mode. Alarm messages are not sent to your central station while test mode is on. If a problem is experienced with any detection point, call for service immediately. Disarm the system and close all protected windows, doors, etc. Enter your four-digit master code plus five plus zero, walk. Listen. The external sounder should sound for about one second then turn off. If the sounder does not sound, call for service. Fault zones. Open each protected door and window in turn and listen for three beeps from the keypad. Each faulted detection point should appear on the display. Walk in front of any interior motion detectors, if used, and listen for three beeps. Each detector should appear on the display when it is activated. The display clears when no motion is detected. Test all smoke detectors, following the manufacturer's instructions. When all detection points have been checked and are intact, closed, there should be no zone numbers displayed. Exit test mode, four digit code plus one. Trouble conditions, the word check on the keypad's display, accompanied by a beeping at the keypad, 
indicates a trouble condition in the system at the displayed zone number sensor and requires your attention. Determine if the zones displayed are intact and make them so if they are not. If the display persists, call for service. To silence the beeping for these conditions, press any key. Checking open zones, checking zones, before arming your system, all protected doors, windows and other detection zones must be closed or bypassed, otherwise, the keypad displays not ready. Go to, if the user is authorized, a keypad in one partition can be used to perform system functions in the other partition by using the Goto command. Must use an alpha keypad. Arming the system, chime mode, and controlling devices. Before arming, close all perimeter doors and windows and make sure the ready to arm message is shown. After arming, leave the premises through an entry slash exit door during the exit delay period and be sure the door is reclosed to avoid causing an alarm. Disarming the system and silencing alarms, the one-off key is used to disarm the system, silence alarms and trouble sounds, and clear the memory of alarm displays. Bypassing zones, use the 6 bypass key when you want to arm your system with one or more zones intentionally unprotected. The system must be disarmed first. Panic keys, your system may have been programmed to use special keys or key pairs to manually activate emergency, panic, functions as follows. To activate a panic function, Press and hold down for at least 2 seconds the programmed lettered key or key pair for the desired emergency function, or press both keys of the assigned key pair at the same time. When entering codes and commands, sequential key depressions must be made within 4 to 5 seconds of one another. If 4 to 5 seconds elapse without a key depression, the entry will be aborted and must be repeated from its beginning. If you make a mistake while entering a security code, stop, press the asterisk key, and then start over. If you stop in the middle while entering a code, and then immediately start the entry over, an erroneous code might be entered. Security Codes For more updates subscribe to our channel.